Andy House would like to introduce the story, The Ghost at Starfruit Tree. Based on the words of the Vietnamese man this year is over 60. Part 1. The First Night. I was out of 60 this year. Yet, when I watched a movie with my grandchildren, I apologize. Maybe I was the only one who was scared. Young people now believe in science more than myths that seem wild. So they often say, Grandpa, the devil doesn't exist. They just imagine to make a profit. These images are only good at threatening children two to three years old. It is also possible that they have never met ghosts. So there is no concept of fear of ghosts. I was once a long time ago. Back in 1966. That year I was 25 years old. But I was still as frightened as a child. That story always haunts me until today. I never wanted to tell my grandchildren. Because in a way. I think it would be better. But if I become dusty and I can't tell anyone this. I can't stand it. So you apologize and share with me the horrifying fear of witnessing a terrible truth. I have to start the story with a relevant detail. It was the first year we went to college. I and my best friend sits elementary school. But an unexpected news caused my friend's son to return to his house. Son's mother suddenly went missing. Everyone rushed to look for it but failed. The police at that time were in a bad mood. A small town. The search was not too complicated. Except she was swept away by the river. Or she had climbed a certain vehicle and mysteriously disappeared from town. Two days later. Some people came to the police to testify that Sun's mother had gone to the bus station and climbed a bus. According to Sun. Sun's mother had mental illnesses from Sun's time when he was in the ninth grade. After the tragic death of the traffic accident of Mr. Sun's grandparents. Sun's grandparents were very rich. Sun's mother was an only child so many fortune left her alone. Sun's father is the best doctor in the small town where Sun was born. He may have been studying abroad in France. But because of Sun's presence in his mother's womb, he had to cancel the trip and stay behind to carry out the responsibility of being a husband and father under the pressure of his grandparents. Then due to grief, Sun quit school that year. The following year to avoid the child from the painful memories, Sun's father took care of him to study abroad. The story of Sun's mother disappearance sunk into oblivion. Five years later, Sun returned from overseas to spend his summer at home to reduce psychological pressure before embarking on a graduation report. The first person Sun rushed to meet was me. At that time, I moved to Saigon for three and a half years. We dragged each other back to the hometown with mood swings, restless and hard to describe. This was also the first time we have met Sun's stepmother. I just know how to study hard not caring about those whiskers because we were close friends my mother also knew a little about son's family my mother knew that son's father had remarried with a clinic nurse after son studied for two years son did not say but i understand that he is very sad about his father's remarriage because anyway it was still too short for the conclusion that son's mother could not return I was surprised when I stepped over the wooden fence. The trees covered the path. Weeds growing everywhere. It looks like there is no one here. Understanding what I meant. Sun hesitated in the middle of the path. Raising a sad voice. Father was no longer here after remarrying. My father intended to sell this house. But I did not agree. From time to time. My father would let people clean up. Maybe I didn't let my father know first so. 
Sun raised his hand to show a gesture in the distance as if to suppress the emotion that was rising in his eyes. To dispel the embarrassing moment in his mind, I hastily grabbed his shoulder. No problem. So the two of us work together. Agree? The last few rays of the day suddenly flashed before turning off, then turned to purple to darken the space of the garden. That night, we could only clean Sundroom to rest. Ancient memories are reviewed as broken movies. Gradually, Sun fell asleep. My part, not knowing because of the strange place or because of the strange noises in the house and the yard, I kept nervous, worried, could not take a nap. But then I fell asleep in the exhausting exhaustion at dawn, with a nightmare that I could only remember a few spooky images the next morning. At that time, I simply thought that because I was too tired, I dreamed of a monstrous thing. The next day, Sun informed his father that he had returned. At the same time, both of us embarked on clearing the garden yard. It became bright and clean. We rested our hands and took our bike to go around. We went to an old friend's house, or suddenly stopped by the place where we had left a mark in our past. That night was the beginning of the terrible. In the evening, when I and Sun tried to linger in the yard, where the stone table was at the base of the flower arrangement, I suddenly felt that someone was looking at me. My neck tickled. I turned backwards, where the star fruit tree was planted in a big pot. The image of a woman sitting under the tree dimly dimmed. I frantically rubbed my eyes and looked carefully. I could see nothing. See my appearance. Sun asked. What's wrong? Nothing. I urged Sun to come in and naturally shiver. The next few days, the two of us continued to finish the rest and went fishing. Shooting birds like we were in high school. When clearing grass near a big fruitful star fruit tree, I wondered with Sun why grew star fruit trees in pots, while the outside did not lack vacant land. Growing outside will be better than being forced into pots. Star fruit trees will not grow normally. Sun said it was originally planted outside the gate. But then he did not understand why Sun's father bought this big pot and planted it in it and pushed it out like that. A strange thing. Though living in a pot, it is more and more sumptuous and fruitful. Looking at the sturdy and oversized basin, I had a strange feeling but didn't realize what it was. The next night, I heard strange sounds again when the two of them went out late at night. Apparently when Sun was struggling to open the gate, I heard a woman crying in the garden. The cry was like complaining to someone something troublesome. I asked Sun if he heard anything and he said he didn't hear anything. In fact, if Sun heard it or not. I didn't know because Sun's face looked like he was worried. Thinking without saying it. Saturday night, I dreamed a terrible dream. I dreamed that I sat reading a book at the stone table. Suddenly the darkness fell. The trees in the garden suddenly wobbled like they were having a big thunderstorm. And the image of the woman appeared again. Right next to the pot. She sat down with her head between her knees, her hair hanging down over her face. The woman kept swaying, making her hair dangle constantly. Her hands clutched at the tiny shriveled legs that were only with the feet of a child. I'm scared to call Sun. Sun was startled to wake up because Sun heard my sound and call me. Sweat wet chest shirt? I blanket blanket pretend to sleep. 